I started my career, I didn't get paid for what I did. I was um, a very kind of underfunded club and that was that was for a long while, but you have to put yourselves in those positions and, and do that work and kind of go through that to kind of learn your trade and kind of do a good job and make yourself visible and obviously just, just do it with passion. So I'd say just the realisation that you if you do go into this field, it's not going to be an automatic kind of like click your fingers and you're going to be at the top if that's your obviously your ultimate aim. I mean, there's there's plenty of opportunity in terms of grassroots club level, but also if you do have aspirations to get to the, the top, then it's, it's, a, it's a long journey. And I would think that that's the perspective that you probably, it's okay to have that as a long-term goal, but if you're singularly focused on, oh, I just want to be at the top, you're missing all the really important steps along the way mm -hmm. that um, craft you will do as a, in my sense, as an athletic trainer and a physical therapist that have taught me valuable lessons. Most of us probably started with volunteer work, I would mm -hmm. say. Yes. And I think that that, whether that's mm -hmm. a volunteer opportunity or an internship or part of your schooling, mm -hmm. But from that, you are able to invest in and really develop your passion and build relationship with other people. And everybody has something to teach you. And it might teach you who you want to be. It might teach you who you don't want to be. When I was a student athletic trainer in college, I said yes and volunteered at a Nike Friendlies event for U.S. soccer. And I don't even think I realized at that time that U.S. soccer was like running the event. And, you know, fast forward several many years later <laughs> and I oversee our sports mm -hmm. medicine department and so it's just it's funny the little connections you make along the way. Yeah. Take every step along the way and every step is what will bring you kind of to that end, end result of the, that journey that you are on and just not taking anything for granted because so you, mm -hmm. you never know when that door will close but you will also be prepared to never know when that door mm -hmm. is going to open for the next opportunity or when those doors do close. I'm so grateful for every little stepping stone that I've had and if you look back 20 years ago I would have never imagined that I would be here with you guys and here with you as soccer and just every little path that my career has taken me on I'm so grateful for and I would even those hard challenging times at the beginning I wouldn't I wouldn't take take anything back I wouldn't change anything because that is just you know what led me onto the path that I am here today and also turned me into the, the person, mm -hmm. the human I am, but also the athletic trainer that I am. I think just mm -hmm. like what exactly what all three of you said, it's like there's going to be challenges, there's going to be hardships, there's going to be incredible moments that are so exciting and powerful in your life that it just shapes you as a human being and you like never know exactly where you're going to end up and it's not always going to be easy but you've got to accept those challenges and even if it's hard in, in the moment you learn something you grow from it mm -hmm. um, it's not always a straight line <laughs> so it's rare